All right, so I'm a little out of my element today because I'm not in my warm garage. I'm over uh, trying to help Chad. Chad's actually getting ready to move to Colorado, um, but he's scared because apparently labor rates in Colorado for working on cars is astronomical. And uh, he's like, hey, I got some gifts for you if you'll come put this hood prop kit on my truck. So here I am. All right, so we picked our desired opening height of the hood. Uh, which is approximately five inches higher than the stock prop rod would hold it up. And then we've removed the inner plastic pieces here from either side um, that go between the structure area and the fender itself. And now we're going to mount the brackets that the lower prop rod snaps onto, the ball section snaps onto at the bottom. So basically you hold the bracket over... Um, this indention at the back, close to the firewall, is from what I'm reading. We'll hold that over that, center it over that, and then drill two holes in uh, with a 3 16 drill bit, and it gets riveted into place. So once that one's done, then you measure and install the one on the hood itself, or at least that's the way I'm reading it. We'll see how this goes. All right, so you can kind of see my indentions there. But basically, you just hold your bracket right there, centered over that indention. Hold it up tight to the inner fender well, and you can see I just took my 3 16 drill bit, used it to mark those two holes, and we'll set that bracket out of the way. We'll finish drilling them holes. Once you got your holes drilled, set your bracket into place. Lines up perfectly, because we use the bracket to make the holes. And we take our rivets, and we drop our rivets down in those holes and then we'll rivet them into place. Ta-da! So much better than a freaking prop rod. Super easy. Got those lower brackets installed. Was able to reinstall the plastic into place, no big deal. Once you have your desired height set, you just snap your prop rod into place, snap the upper bracket onto the prop rod, and then use that as your marker to mark and drill your top two holes. Perfect. Works awesome. Not too bad for a 10 minute job.